Hello everybody, this is T from Kate's Crafty Closet and today I'm going to show you how I made this little note card envelope is what I'm going to call it. So it's not really, it's not all put together. So you can show you how it just really simple, really easy. First thing you're really going to need is a six by six piece of paper. So I just pulled out one of my six by six paper pads and took a piece out. I trimmed it down to make sure it was a true six by six. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my scoreboard and get your bone folder and you're going to score this at one inch and decide which way you want your pattern to be it doesn't really matter for me one inches and then again at five inches and just be careful and don't do like I did with the, that one and ripped it then we're going to turn it put it in there we're going to do it again at one inches and then again at one and then we're going to do it at three and a half one, I'm going to do it a couple times just to make sure I get a good score. And then I'm going done with the bone folder, not bone folder, scoreboard. Let's just go ahead and score our lines that we went ahead and folded. Just use the bone folder, make them nice and crisp. Like sometimes, got to... Okay, got those two, then we have two going this way. All right, we have this one, okay. Hopefully you can see this on the camera, but there's going to be at the bottom, you see right here, the bigger squares. This has got two little squares right here on each side and you won't, you won't need those. So you're gonna come in with some scissors and do your best. I, or I should say, I'm gonna do my best and I'm gonna trim it by just going down those scored lines, okay? And don't cut your camera stand in the process, Tony. Like I said, I'm not super concerned that they're not straight. Um, but you do want to try to get them as straight as you can on here. All right. You're going to go on this side and do the same thing. Grab that score line. Hopefully I'm not out of the camera. And then we're going to grab that. And trim that up. So we got that. So you're going to flip it over and you have these two little tiny squares down here. You're going to do the same thing. You don't need those. You're going to trim those down on the score line, but you're going to cut a little further off of the score line at an angle so you can ha so it makes it easier for that flap to close. So again, you're just going to go ahead and trim on that score line and again angle it. Okay? And then I missed a little tiny piece right there, but that's okay. So there you have it. So that is what is folded will look like. So I'm just gonna score that a little bit more, get a little bit more crisp line because it is a little bit more of a thicker paper than the one I used previously, okay? And then if you have a little bit of bulkiness to it, you can just trim it down a little bit more because most of those flaps are going to be hidden anyway. I'm just trimming a little bit off of those flaps because it's a little bit bulkier paper, so it stretches. So close them in, fold them, and you got a good even. Isn't that just too adorable? Cool. So you can use a liquid adhesive. I, today, am just gonna use my double-sided tape. But like I said, you can use any adhesive you want. And I'm gonna flip the flaps out and make it a little bit more easier. And I'm gonna put just to secure it, two pieces on there and rip it off at the end. And then, like, and then we're gonna do the same over here. I'm gonna say, if you wanna use liquid, it's okay. But I'm just, this is just easier because my, my liquid glue never really wants to work with me and cooperate. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our best, or I'm gonna do my best, to pull off this release paper um, and not, be a struggle now look at that it's being nice to me today nice so this i put a little bit too much 
on that end, but that's okay because I'll just fold it up and get it to, uh, yeah, I'll just fold it up. There we go. One more. Come on. There we go. That way it doesn't leave any stickiness over there. So, I'm going, so now we're going to come in and just fold this up. And that is our envelope. So you put another strip up there if you really want to use this to hand out. I'm going to use these for like thank yous for orders. Um, and the thing is, I was playing with this earlier. These are little tags. Like you can put a little tag in there as a little a swap gift for you know a crafty friend, and it goes right in there perfectly. Boom. This is this tag is I believe three and three quarters long and two and a half inches wide and I used this tag punch that I got and I just popped the tag off at the top and that's just, a, see how super fun, super easy that is to make and you can make a whole bunch of these. These are great to put inside of a mini album because you can put photos in there and like the one I showed you earlier that wasn't folded up completely. If you wanna put that down into a um, mini album and have it open up. You can, you can have it open up and have a picture in there and just glue that back side off and there you go. So I wanna thank you all for joining me today. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Uh, make sure you also check out the website at cagecraftedcloset.com and use coupon SAVE5, that's the number five, to save five dollars off of your order of $25 or more. Thank you very much y'all and y'all have a crafty day y'all.